Has anyone ever left a negative comment on one of your pictures? Well, saddle up, join our quest, as we are on the mission to destroy all the photography trolls and prove that positivity wins any war. So we've all suffered negative comments in some manner or form when uploading a picture to the internet, and it's almost just become a bit of the norm. But should we accept that? Well, this is why iPhotography is going to don on its helmet, grab its sword, and have a look at those photography trolls. Now, trolling is a horrible habit on the internet that some people think is amusing. It's a faceless interaction with no consequences, or at least that's what the troll thinks. When it comes to photography, we need to remember that everything, and we mean everything, is subjective. It is an art form after all. There's no one universal opinion, so any messages can still hurt to read them. So if you receive a negative comment, you'll probably feel angry and that's natural. It's understandable. It's happened to me and that's how I felt. And the natural response is to send a rude message back, but that's only gonna cause two things. So number one, it's gonna make you look as immature as them. Obviously all those comments are out there for the world to see and if you're trying to build a bit of a photography business on the side, it's not going to make your reputation or your profession look very good. Now, point two, it may make you feel a little bit better for a short period of time to respond with a horrible message, but the overriding feeling of being upset is going to last a much longer. So what we need to do is actually spin this situation into a more positive scenario. Now, sure, you can delete the comments that you end up seeing and just pretend that the moment never happened, but that feeling will never necessarily move. And I think what could be important, not in every situation, but in some situations, is maybe worth looking at what the comment said and is the point that's actually being left. Is it true? Can you swallow your pride and possibly improve your work? Well, I think we'll maybe have a look at a few different points just to make sure that all the work we're putting out there is absolutely tip top. Now just before we go through our checklist, one thing we need to do is make sure in ourselves that we're putting all the best work out there. Now it's really easy to go back and re-edit your work and just tweak it a little bit. Now obviously the rest of the internet can't see that you're doing that and just to delete an old picture and put one back up is not necessarily a problem. But we need to kind of make a bit of a self-assessment that what we're actually doing is the best for our photograph. So here are our checklist of four tips to make sure that your work is absolutely perfect before you upload it. Tip one, check your horizon and make sure it's straight. And if you wanna know a little bit more about getting your lines level, then check out our blog in the description below. It's perfect for making sure you've got nice and even horizons in all your landscapes. Tip two, get in close and make sure your shot is sharp where you want it to be. Phone screens are getting bigger nowadays and the detail is increasing year on year. Any soft pixels will stand out big time. Tip three, Try other color profiles. Color splashes, black and white, sepia, vintage tone, Instagram filters. Give them all a shot to see if you like a different color style applied. Tip four, is the story clear? What's the point of your picture? What's it all about? Is that obvious in your version or would a little bit of editing or cropping help it a bit more? A good photograph should be clear and obvious what it's about. So with a little bit of care and attention, hopefully all those tips will make a bit of a difference to your photography. If you've experienced problems with photography trolls, then just let us know in the comments if there's any other ways that you've gotten over those negative comments and turned it into a more positive experience. Again, let us know. You never know who else will be reading the comments and obviously you could be really helping somebody else. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to find out a little bit more about iPhotography, again, we've got all the descriptions in the links below for you to find out about our amazing online photography courses. If you want to just watch some more of our videos, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, check us out on all the relevant social media, and we will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.